Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Atari Jaguar emulator called Big PMU for Windows. We're going to be playing it on the Steam Deck. Stick around. We're going to be running it on the Steam Deck under Proton. This is called the Big PMU. And uh, it's free, it's available for download. There are actually no BIOS files you need or anything else. Um, you download it, install it as a non-Steam game, and activate uh, GE Proton, one of the newer ones will do, and you get this full-blown emulator written by Rich Whitehouse. Now, if you read the FAQ, it appears that he has some ties with Digital Eclipse. He may have written the emulator for their Atari Jaguar section. So let's take a look here. Um, real quick, I want to share my settings with you um, for video. Uh, this, this is the best resolution that I found that seems to fill the screen the best and doesn't stretch anything. And as for input, you can leave everything alone. If you run this through gaming mode, you'll have a lot less trouble than if you run it through desktop mode. But you know what? Let's just get into it because this is what you really want to see is you want to see how these games run. Now, I grabbed a full set, I believe a full set, of... Atari Jaguar ROMs to check out. We're going to go direct feed for those um, so that we can get a nice clean visual. But yeah, it's really simple. Again, there's nothing to do other than download, extract, add as a non-Steam game, set your Proton, run, and then do some settings. Before we go direct feed, let me show you what I did Real quick, um, I did enable the back grip buttons and I assigned one to the escape key. You're going to need that to get out of the games. Unless you have a keyboard, of course, but a lot of people don't. So I just wanted to let you know. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to direct feed so I can show you how this guy works. Okay, so this emulator sort of came out of the blue. I don't think anybody really saw it coming. Big P emu. Uh, and here we are uh, full screen with direct feed mode. And let's take a look here, right? So we have a ton of cartridges here. This is what I would consider a fairly, um, a fairly utilitarian, right? There is some history, but there's no box art. There's no cool visual layout sort of thing, but it's still um, pretty impressive. And there's tons of stuff that you can do here. I'm just gonna buzz through these. You can slow the video down or do whatever you need to do. So it looks like there's plenty of options to make those weirder titles run better. You can also simulate certain types of devices, right? Just kind of pan through those. We're going to stay with standard for this one because we're only going to look quickly at this. This is not an in-depth look at the uh, at the situation. So let's take a look at a couple of these, right? Alien versus Predator was supposed to be one of the bigger titles. So uh, we'll go ahead and run this. As you can see, uh, popped right up, no problem. I don't know about uh, CD-based titles, even if there are any. I'm, I'm not a, uh, I am not an Atari Jaguar guy, but I'm interested because I missed out on this platform when it came out. But you can pick from whoever you want. I don't know. Let's be Predator. That sounds like fun. Blah blah blah. Right, so I also did another control configuration where I assigned um, the D-pad to the left analog stick. I can share these with you if uh, you want a more concise look at the layout. What other door are we talking about here? I don't see any other door. Maybe I have to go the other way. All right, well, I mean, it runs pretty well. I mean, this, this game wasn't of particular interest to me, but I thought I would show it. Now, Atari Karts is one that is on the, uh, the anniversary edition of the Atari 50th birthday sort of thing. So let's take a look at this one. This one apparently goes for high dollars on the used market. So let's just kind of run in here and see what it looks like. And let's see what we got. Wrong button, there we go. All right, very um, very uh, Mario Kart-ish, no? Didn't say I knew what I was doing. But it seems to run, I haven't played it in the Atari Anniversary package, but it looks like it runs on par with it. Again, I have no clue if I'm supposed to be doing something special or not, other than not hitting the other cars, right? Or the side of the road. But it seems to run well enough. 
Let's take a look at something else. Cannon fodder was always a game on the Amiga that I loved a lot, and I was curious to see how it got implemented on the Jaguar. And it gets implemented very, very well with the two-button control layout. Um, it is obviously a mouse would be so much better for cannon fodder, but it does uh, it does the job and it works. I don't know if they tuned the enemy AI down or anything like that to uh, to simplify it for the controller perspective, but it does do. Um, oops, wrong one. Let's see where's my move. There we go. So for you uh, Amiga heads that were big into cannon fodder, uh, you probably recognize this first level. It's the exact same as on all the other versions. Okay, so let's do a couple more here. Defender 2000 is pretty cool. Um, this is one of those, I believe, a Jeff Minter project. Of course, it doesn't say. It's got that feel, though, no? All right, let's see what we got. Smart bombs lost, hit the bottom. Look at that, the little guys running around at the bottom. That's cool. See, I like, I like the concept used here where it's basically the exact same game. Uh, only all we did is mess, mess with the graphics, really. I mean, everything else looks about the same. Very fast, very, um, very fluid. Almost too fast for my old ass right now. But hey, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to something else. You guys can try these out on your own. Uh, I don't want to do too much here. I, had, I at least wanted to hit, um, I at least wanted to hit Tempest 2000 because a lot of people, for a lot of people, this is the face of the Atari Jaguar, right? It was to me, especially. This is what I wanted an Atari Jaguar for at the beginning, right? So let's take a look at what we got here. It does look pretty cool. I always like the line level. It takes them a lot longer to get from the the end up to you. At least it was in the arcade game, the original Tempest arcade game. This looks pretty good. Good power. Nice. Damn, this... The, the, the D-pad's actually probably better for this game. Not quite as much throw. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, listen, um, I'm not going to sit here and go through all of these. Um, you can do this on your own. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you where to get ROMs. That's uh, sort of your deal. There's no BIOS file required, though, which is great because um, BIOS files are usually what really trip people up from getting into emulation. And this works really, really well. So if you've ever been interested in the Jaguar, you've got a Steam Deck and you want to, um, you want to take it for a spin. It's easier than ever. And it plays very, very well. Um, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy. If you guys want to see a proper setup and controller layouts and all that stuff, let me know. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks always so much for watching and take care.